What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how we can create bricks over arches inside of SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so what we've got right now is we've got kind of a fireplace shape in here. And I'm actually going to three, show you three steps. Um, so we're going to use three different extensions in here. You could just use the SketchUp bricks, but they're a little bit boring. So I thought that we'd uh, use an extension called Architectures, which you can find in the SketchUp extension warehouse. So you go to the SketchUp extension warehouse, you just want to look for Architectures, and you can install that. And so first off, I want to create a brick texture. Well, the cool thing about Architectures is you pop this up, and uh, it's got options for different kinds of material. So like brick, it's also got multiple different manufacturers. I'm a big fan of this extension in general. But in this case, I'm gonna bring in this Ashbury Smooth Stretcher material. So we can just click on it, click on import, and bring it in. And the cool thing about this is this will create this as, an ex as a material inside of SketchUp. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply it to my surfaces. Now, the reason we have to make this video is because obviously this doesn't look very good over the top of our fireplace. Usually you'd have some kind of detailing in here where the brick goes in a different direction. So what we want to do is we want to, first off, create the right kind of geometry so that we can actually do this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to um, select this edge and I want to offset it by tapping the F key. So I'm going to tap F, I'm going to click, and I'm going to offset this up by however big those bricks are going to be. So say they're going to be eight inch bricks right here. I'm just going to draw a line on either side like this. And basically what I want to do is I want to split this out as a separate face. So you can see how this is a separate face from this. But the problem is, even if we were to do like a position texture function or something like that, so just right click, rotate it, whoops, it still doesn't quite give us the look we're going for, right? Because our bricks don't really follow along with the surface. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a different kind of surface because right now there's not enough geometry in here for any tools, sketchups, or extensions to know what to do with this. So start by clicking on this face, hitting the delete key. We're going to get rid of this surface completely. Remember that everything in SketchUp is made up of topology. So topology is basically just the underlying geometry that makes up a surface. Well, if I was to heal this face in, Look at my hidden geometry, so view hidden geometry. Notice how there's nothing in here. So what we want to do is we want to use a tool called Curvaloft from Fredo 6. And um, you can purchase either Curvaloft, I think it's like $12 or something like that, um, or you can get Fredo 6's collection of extensions, which I recommend for everyone on Sketchication. And I can link to that in the notes down below. But what we want to do is we want to select these two edges we want to use this first tool, which is called Loft by Spline. And so Loft by Spline is going to allow you to create a surface in here. But notice when it creates a surface, it's lofting across the points on this object. So what that means is that means that when we exit the tool, it's going to create the surface. Whoops, we want to hit the Enter key to exit and then exit the tool. Notice how this looks exactly the same, but if we go to View hidden geometry. Notice how this has that underlying geometry in here. Well, now we can use another tool from Fredo in order to map our material along the surface. So I'm going to do a view hidden geometry to toggle that off. And I want to use the extension through paint in order to place this material on the surface. So we'll start just by double clicking in here and applying this material to the surface. Now, I want to activate the tool through paint, which I believe is also paid now, um, but absolutely worth it because what it does is it allows you to map materials along surfaces. So if I sample this material right here, notice how I've got multiple different UV modes. UVs are basically just the way that materials are mapped onto surfaces in a 3D software. Well, in this case, I want to select this first option for quad mesh UV. And I can just find somewhere on the surface and I can click. Notice how with through paint, I can adjust the size of that material as well as, and I wish this menu was in a different spot, but as well as the location of the bricks in here. However, notice how we have another problem, which is you wouldn't really do this this way. You need a different material for this to really make sense. Well, the cool thing is architectures actually has a tool to do that. 
All right, and so what we can do with architectures is we can use this material, but we can change it. So in this case, I want to click on this Ashbury Smooth stretcher, and instead of importing it, I want to edit it. So when I edit it, remember that you have options in here to adjust the kind of brick that's created like this. Well, in this case, what I want to do is I want to change this to a stack bond like this because we want those bricks to be just aligned next to each other. And I'm going to click on the option for import. And notice what that's going to do if you go into the in model section of your materials is now you've got that older material, remember, which was the stretcher bond or you've got this new material, which is a stack bond. And so what I want to do is I'm going to click, whoops. What I want to do is I want to start by applying this stack bond material to this surface. And then we're going to use through paint again. We're going to sample it right here. Make sure that we're in quad mesh UV mode. And we're just going to use this in order to adjust the material. And then you can adjust either uniformly like this. So you can click and drag the uniform scale or you could also distort this in a direction so that it aligns with your surface. But you can use through paint in order to place those bricks above your fireplace. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Uh, just got done at the Brightman SketchUp Summit and a lot of cool stuff happened, so I got more cool content coming up. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.